Hi everyone, it's great to be here with you today. And I'm sitting basically alone in solitude in the middle of the church this afternoon. And I'm glad to be with you uh, this morning in your homes. I want to talk to you about the things God has entrusted to us in this time. There's things God's entrusted to you and to me. We talked about this for the first two days. I want to talk about a third thing very, very quickly. It'll come out of my mouth. God has entrusted to us the body of Christ. I want to read you 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse uh, 26, 27, 28, in around there. It says, if one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is part of it. You're part of the body of Christ. And at this time, God has entrusted us as the body of Christ with the body of Christ. That's what this is getting at. How is the way of understanding that? We're all part of it. So it's not reflective that the body of Christ is just me or you, or maybe if there's two of you, the person sitting beside you. It's a much broader thing. We have a whole church that makes up the body of Christ. If God has entrusted us, because that's what this says. It says, you are this. We, If we suffer, we all suffer. And right now, in the world in which we in, there's, uh, we're in, it doesn't feel like a win. The body of Christ doesn't necessarily feel like a win. We're all locked away. We can't get together in church. So it's like many people are like, man, I want to come together. I want to be together. Is it even church if we can't come together? We can't witness seeing each other. I'm going to tell you right now, we are. And the point is we're suffering. The Apostle Paul was essentially in jail. And one of the things that happened to him later in life is that everybody abandoned the guy. The Apostle Paul, one of the two kind of great apostles, Peter and Paul. If you go to the Vatican, you see the two biggest statues are Peter and Paul on top of these huge columns. These are the two big guys. And Paul, they all basically abandoned him. Sitting there by himself alone, so many people, when he was isolated, forgot about him. Maybe didn't listen to him like they used to. I want to tell you something. We do not suffer that way like Paul. We need to reach out. Don't let our minds enter into a thought that we just, we just, we aren't, if we aren't together, we aren't really a body. That is a lie. Paul didn't say that. He said, I'm so thankful for these people that remembered me, these people that took care of us. There's people that you can reach out to, and you may not be able to see them, but you don't deactivate as the body when a pandemic comes along. You don't deactivate. You don't square things away and say, hey, I, I kind of move on for the next four months or three weeks or however long it takes. Pick up a phone, call someone, text somebody, find a prayer buddy, find somebody. Because the Bible says each one of you is part of it. It doesn't say part of it until something happens where you can't get together. We're just part of it. doesn't matter who you are. doesn't matter what you do. I'm coming to the church every day alone, basically, sitting in here by myself. And I don't like it. And I want to see all of you here. But at this point, this is how we're together, me and you. But you and the friends that you have from church, phone them, text them, email them, make a video, get on Facebook if you've got it, and have a chat between families. Do something. When, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord raises up a standard against him. Do something. Take a standard of the Lord. Say, you know what? I'm going to phone this person. I'm going to, I'm going to pray for this buddy of mine. I'm, I'm going to see someone in a different way than I used to see them, but I'm still going to talk to them. I'm going to witness to them that God loves them, and I haven't forgotten about them. Could God use you? Could you come through like this right now? God has entrusted us with the body of Christ. Now, we're all part of it, but we've, all, we, we, we've also, you know, been entrusted with it. We's together right now, the whole lot of us. And that's, now that's terrible English or grammar. And that's not even a word, it's a slang word. We's together right now. We got to stick together. We got to be there for each other. We got to come through as a unit. We can't see each other, but we can still see each other through whatever means, cameras, calls, Facebook, whatever. We's together. Stick together right now. We're part of it together. God's entrusted it. God bless you today. I want to encourage you in Jesus' name.